But Brisky said he wish he can go back to his former skin tone. Guys, can you believe that? But Brisky wishes he can go back to being black, dark skin tone. That uh, bleaching is not easy. That it takes him almost two hours to do all those rub rub. Of course, you need to not cool. You need to dry. You some, you know, you need to pad the skin <laughs> so that it. <laughs> So that it doesn't show that you're bleaching, of course. Because on several occasions, Bobriski has been caught on camera. They say, hey, Bobriski has knuckles. Like, you know, they say, hey, see some bone. Like, he needs to work on those hard to reach areas so that they don't show, you know, these hard to reach areas, they can disgrace you. You're a dark skin tone person and you are using harsh chemicals for bleaching. That is what. Strong case the jam maker. Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Asma Zakari and do well to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Alright, today, hmm, do you know eh, there are certain things that we, sometimes we watch and we don't realize that there's something out there for us to learn until we rewatch it, rewatch it again. Like this morning, I watched um this documentary like this is not my first time of watching it though this is like almost my third time and i'm like this is something good for my own kind of content now the documentary is on netflix by um beverly naya in case you don't know beverly naya beverly naya is a nigerian film um, nollywood actress here in nigeria she's an actress she's a celebrity here in nigeria and she did a documentary like mind you a documentary it's not a movie it's a documentary kind of setting about skin Yes, that's the name of the documentary skin. So I watched it today and I, I don't know this morning I just got this vibe, this inspiration that man, this is something I need to talk about. Like maybe even review the movie in between and then let's see, let's see how it goes. Alright, um permit me, I'll be looking down because of course I needed to write notes because when it became a content, it was something that I had to put down on my book. And the part that intrigued me was the part of Bob Risky. I don't know if some of you know about Bob Risky. Bob Risky is a cross-dresser. I don't even know where to place him. Is he under a he or a she? I don't even know. He's actually a cross-dresser. Here is a celebrity. He sells, he sells bleaching cream. <laughs> yeah, that is what he is. So first and foremost, I wouldn't start with him. I would start with the one that intrigued me more and which was I think the photographer or so Mama Diaya or something like that's the name of it also the guy that was in charge of the photography and all that he made a very strong point which that is what I want to start with now he was like the concept of photography eh, has been surrounded by the white like it has been dominated by the white you understand like photography is not engineered or geared towards the dark skin you understand and honestly i must compliment their um, cameras or I don't know their modern equipment like it cuts the essence like oh my god like just watch it is on netflix so you understand what i'm trying to say to you it cut the full essence of the skin like the skin actually showed and it carried a lot of message as well now this photographer was talking about the fact that photography equipment have been um will i say have been engineered or have been projected towards the light skin you understand even the beginning of photography that was black and white you understand if you're a white person on, on if you're a light-skinned person in the uh, photography you will look white of course but if you're dark you actually look dark almost your features might not even really show if you guys can remember how the black and white pictures were yes so and he as a photographer didn't even project like light skin okay like me i even have a friend who is a photographer and for one day i've never heard him spoke about skin tone all he speaks about is lightening all he just talks about is he wants proper lighting he has never really condemned the light skin or a dark skin person she understand so for me i feel the modern photography i begin to envision photography differently okay enough of my talking of photography that was the part of the photography now um there were some set of women that Beverly Naya was speaking to and they were saying and, and this actually a woman specifically she was talking about the fact that she bleached her skin because of confidence like she said she lacked confidence and that she needed a man you understand and when she bleached her skin she was able to get married and felt reassured she understand even some other women that Beverly Naya spoke with they also spoke about the concept of bleaching is a way of keeping their men 
and it was as you and you know what i, I was even at a live stream of uh, jamila adu uh, adu lifestyle actually and i was wondering what is it like you know for me up to today as a woman that i am do you know i don't even know the full definition of beauty like modern beauty you understand in the past i think uh, beauty was attributed to the fact that uh, okay a good um woman with uh, a good behavior with good uh, home training but honestly speaking the millennials let me even be more specific have changed the whole concept of beauty i don't know is it being light-skinned is it being uh, shapey i really don't know what the concept of beauty is but the fact remains that because i even watched some review from some other youtubers and one especially like or rather two got to me because these women or these girls were dark skinned and you could tell that there was a lot of um backlash about black skin black like dark skin tone right from when they were small like there was one i even said that uh, she wasn't even picked for roles which you saw they even that, that barely naya's documentary there was a part she went to the school to the school children the young children and they were like they preferred light so honestly speaking is it that the concept of this bleaching or skin lightening is what people see as beauty do you understand like honestly let's just continue okay now the um, beverly naya went as far as going to cream sellers now she went to two different cream sellers one was a local cream seller which of course most of her products were steroids and harsh chemicals of course that was it and she said something like um if she got married she was going to stop that she was only bleaching her skin to get husband honestly see eh, i think from my um this in analytics i noticed there are men on my channel please men in the house i need you guys to drop these things in the comments like imagine this woman saying that eh, when she gets married she's going to stop bleaching after she has gotten what she wants so is she relatively trying to say that she is bleaching because she's looking for a husband that is what i got from that documentary and even aside from the documentary i remember there was a time in um, i i had a client come to my office and you know it was a mother and a daughter actually and the daughter brought the mother to see me and the mom has seriously messed up her skin like talking about itself now is even making me feel uncomfortable because the skin was terribly damaged with steroids and all sorts of chemical and this is a woman that has bleached for a very very long time and I was asking her, why this woman at that time, I think she was already in her 60s, if I'm not mistaken. And I was asking her, why are you still bleaching at this age? She was like, his daddy, oh, that's her husband, that if she does, if she begins to duck in, that he will give her money, that he's ready to give her any amount to go and buy cream. So my question is, you knew you wanted a fair, light-skinned lady. Then why did you marry a dark-skinned lady and put her through so much stress? And honestly, these things are um, coming, could this um, skin bleaching, excess of it could actually come with skin uh, problems like health issues so my question here is okay something goes wrong god forbid and you die as the woman what next the man is going to move on and that is the end of you that's it for me and then there's this um the, the cream seller that's the local cream seller and then there was the um, other cream seller which is a much more okay like the kind of business i do much more of natural and hey, organic skincare called is it miss cookie or something like that that was her name miss cookie skin yes now she spoke about the fact that um, she needed to write whitening on the product so that they would buy <laughs> which for me honestly speaking that part of her that strategy didn't go down well with me personally because like me i have ranges of products from light skin tone to uh, caramel skin tone to dark skin tone and i specify i tell you this is going to lighten your skin like even on my instagram post i have some um, products that when i post i said um i normally label it um suitable for light skin tone suitable for dark skin tone suitable for caramel skin tone like i specify do you understand so that part where they miss cookie skin was like uh, she needed to like right whitening so that they could buy and um that because she does not write whitening that this is something that is good for them which yes i agree with her on that part but so the best way to make them buy was to write whitening but my question here is miss cookie skin when they buy it and it doesn't whiten them then what next you understand and she was like they should go and investigate and that brings me to one of the reasons why i even started my youtube channel because i noticed i was talking so much to clients and man to talk is not easy honestly like i was talking in a day imagine i had two three clients imagine repeating myself over and over again so that was why i even one of the reasons that even made me 
um settled for youtube i was like okay let me also use youtube another means of information at least when they ask me so many questions i refer them to my youtube channel refer them to my youtube videos i can even send them links of some of my youtube videos where they will listen to me where i settle down and educate on those things properly all right moving on to the next one she featured um, some other lady again that also said that uh, the reason why she started bleaching was because she was working for a lady that was selling bleaching cream. So technically, it's like the bleaching cream was imposed on her. Then there's this other one again. She's a makeup artist. She said she actually started the bleaching. In fact, that one even I liked what she said. Kind of it striked me in the sense that she said why she was bleaching that she lost her identity that she didn't know who she was. Like she was looking for herself. And mind you, let me just tell you the truth about bleaching. It's very stressful. That brings me to Bob Risky. When I saw Bob Risky on this documentary, oh my god, the first day I was watching, watching this uh, uh, documentary, I rewind backward that Bob Risky's part because that Bob Risky's part for me, eh, I think in the whole documentary, for me was the most important because a lot of people, how did you think Bob Risky came to being a celebrity or being popular? Which he even claimed in the um, documentary that it was poverty that led him into selling bleaching creams. And each of his sets goes for 200,000 or so, he said, and in a day he could sell almost two or three packets of those creams like the amounts that women are ready to part with because of bleach even men too because in the documentary there were men too that they showed that were also bleaching their skin oh my god you need to see is it the knuckles is it the stretch marks is it the patches oh my god like the um the bobriskis part was the part that's why i tried to save the last for the best like i'll be the best for the last what did they say bob Risky said he wished he can go back to his former skin tone guys can you believe that but Brisky wishes he can go back to being dark, dark skin tone. That uh, bleaching is not easy. That it takes him almost two hours to do all those rub rub. Of course, you need to not cool. You need to dry. You some, you know, you need to pad the skin <laughs> so that it. <laughs> So that it doesn't show that you're bleaching, of course. Because on several occasions, Bobriski has been caught on camera. They say, hey, Bobriski has knuckles. Like, you know, they say, hey, see some bone. Like, he needs to work on those hard-to-reach areas so that they don't show. You know, these hard-to-reach areas, they can disgrace you. You're a dark skin tone person. And you are using harsh chemicals for bleaching. That is one part you can't run away from. Those hard-to-reach areas. So he has to take his time. Mm. Mm. and rob rob he said honestly speaking that is stressful and i think he also made a certain reference to the fact that um um confidence like um he was like part of bleaching part of his one of his reasons again also for bleaching was the fact that about aside from that he wanted to become a celebrity that he noticed that most of the celebrities were light skin toned that's what bob risky claimed and aside from the fact that he wanted to become light skin i think he claimed he talked about something of confidence that people that bleach their skins their skins are people that lack confidence in themselves now that brings me to something and i think that part i related with bob risky perfectly that um some women or some people or men as well bleach their skin due to lack of confidence now i remember those days when i was in the dating scene of course when i wasn't taken yet there was a guy i think i was dating at that time and he said something like um okay he met this new girl and the girl was really really on the light side like actually i wouldn't call myself dark skin tone per se but this lady was really really white like she was really light and he met her and i don't know that they started dating i don't know for him sha and he was like a uh, in between then i think the dating didn't last or something like that so he was like in between then that uh, he knew that if i had met that lady that i would have gone to bleach my skin and i was like really did you just say that like at that point i was really surprised that the guy actually thought i was so crazy about him and that because i was having a rival now because i'll call her a rival at that time that was so many years ago because of her i will stoop to the level of going to bleach which i agree with bob risky perfectly in that point where um the bleach most of the time comes due to lack of self-confidence you lack self-confidence in yourself you think you're not good enough honestly and to be honest with you the fact that most women give most of their like honestly i think most of the women that she spoke with in that documentary if not almost all actually said the bleaching part was to keep their men or to look for men now even a popular celebrity also talking by name talking mokenwa also said the same she bleached her skin because of a man yes which she even married and the marriage did not even last that was the thing so and after which she could not just go back to being dark you know there's, there's something again about, about bleaching and with the fact that if you're in the public eye 
eh? she has stayed um, fair, light skin for long. Honestly, to be honest with you, if I wake up one day and I go on, 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 on my phone, uh, on the internet or TV, and I see Tokema Makenwa looking dark, to be honest with you, it will take me time to adjust to the fact that Tokema Makenwa is dark skin because the Tokema Makenwa I know is light. So sometimes, some of, most of them, especially those in the public eye, after they have bleached and gone too far, they find it difficult to come back to their normal skin to like, okay, in, okay, this is me now. And they come to think of it, being in front of the camera, the, a lot of lightning, and it favors the light skin toned people. I am this person that always say I have nothing against you bleaching your skin as long as you do it the right way. Where the problem lies is the fact that a lot of them don't do it the right way. They indulge in a lot of harsh chemicals. I don't even want to mention them here. They indulge in a lot of harsh, serious harsh chemicals which could end up being detrimental to their health. I even have a video where I spoke about skin bleaching where I said, see, eh, you bleach your skin to a point where even the beauty, they say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder, right? Even you, the beholder, knows that you're no longer beautiful. I made that statement in that my video. To be honest with you, you're bleaching your skin. It gets to a point that even you yourself, you know that, man, this thing, enough is enough. And you know, uh, let me even add quickly, eh? When you're using lightening products or whitening products, these are products that are not supposed to be used every day. Yes, when you're lightening or whitening your skin, especially the whitening parts, eh? Products, products are not supposed to be used every day because let me tell you the difference between lightening and whitening okay let me talk about the, in the concept of um na using natural products now when you're lightening with natural products you're inhibiting your melanin yes but when you're whitening and to be honest with you i don't think that um natural products alone could whiten your skin definitely natural products in combination with some cosmetic products which those cosmetic products should not even be used for a long time they should just be used for a short period of time and stopped do you understand because let me tell you something about um, um all these uh, 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 chemicals or let me say all these products that whiten the skin okay after taking away the melanin what's next that's the question and that is why it's not advisable to be used every day give your melanin some freedom give your melanin some grace to, to 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 restore itself it's like you're choking your skin your melanin and honestly as a dark skin tone person the melanin makes us who we are the melanin is the brown pigment that gives us our skin color gives us our eye color gives us our hair color you understand so it's not only serving your skin it's also serving other places on your body so give it a break let it be you understand